Physician and humanitarian Albert Schweitzer once said, I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I do know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who've ha who have sought and found how to serve. I think that's true, but then there's the downside of, of helping. I was in Germany working for the U.S. Army with uh, uh, caregivers who had just returned from Iraq and Afghanistan. And I was getting ready to give the presentation and a full bird colonel came up to me and said, uh, before you give the presentation, he said, there is a caution I'd like to give to you. And I said, what is it? He said, there, is, there are a lot of ghosts in this room. And I said, what do you mean? He said, there's nothing left inside them. So the reality is being compassionate, reaching out to family, friends, professionally, is certainly a circle of grace in terms of the fact that we receive a lot in our helping, in our reaching out. But also, I don't think people realize how dangerous it is. When we're close with people, we really put ourselves close to emotions and to needs that are very difficult. And we can be psychologically contaminated by it as well. I think one of the greatest dangers facing people who are compassionate, and those of us in, in the business of being compassionate, is denial. Uh, I once uh, was with a, uh, um, a helper who was really having a hard time. And I said, you know, do you plan to strengthen your self-care protocol, your program of, of taking care of yourself? And he said, I wish I had the time. So there's this whole sense of really feeling that we don't, you know, have the space. And it isn't necessary. It is a luxury. Uh, and, and that we don't have the time. But that's nonsense. We have time for what we want.